All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. So we're sitting in the Freedom office, and I'm going to tell you what, there's a reason why there's a huge smile on my face. I haven't done a video in a while, and I'll be quite honest with you, I've been really burned out with work. It's kicking my ass, as always, but a lot more than lately. Uh, this year alone, I've only taken eight days off from work. This, uh, starting right now, is the first minute that I am able to say that I am taking Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off. So I'm going to be able to work out in my shop, get it all cleaned up, get back geared up and start doing some more videos. Man, we got a lot of cool stuff. I want to show you something. This right here, this is actually going to go on the uh, 22 a day raffle uh, rifle where I am donating a 6.5 Creedmoor to the Crazy Scotsman and a couple other folks up there who are going to be raffling off this beautiful rifle to... Uh, Raise money for 22 a day. And actually, this uh, little muzzle brake right here, I know it looks really cool. And somebody made a comment on the Instagram channel last night. It goes, screw the guy to your left and to your right. Yeah, really. This is made by Huber Concepts. You can find it at H-U-B-E-R concepts.com for more information. Also, they make some of the best competition uh, Remington 700 triggers. So sitting here, having my first little libation of the day. And uh, yeah, it's all about relaxation this week. So as we clean up the shop, I'm gonna probably produce a couple of videos. They're gonna be really cool. Um, and do some more uh, rifle barrels, things like that. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you today about was the White House hasn't given up on an imperiled ATF nominee. And this is by CNN Politics. It's kind of interesting. So I'm gonna give you a little overview on what they're talking about. This is by Manu Reju, Betsy Klein, and Megan Vasquez from CNN, because you know how CNN is so pro-gun. All right. The White House and the Democratic Senate leaders are trying to salvage President Joe Biden's... I think the whole key element behind Joe Biden is they're going to just try to salvage. Hit the whole... Hit, they, they should uh, just go ahead and start the new slogan. Uh, better salvage <laughs> to lead the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. But it's not clear whether enough senators will get behind a nominee who has faced intense opposition from gun rights activists. Now, here's the funny thing. All these people who are gun uh, anti-gun or, or the gun uh, want to take away or do whatever they want, for some stupid reason, they feel like the, these, are, these are led by groups like the NRA, but they forget about little Joe Blow over here with his a uh, semi-automatic pistol, or anything else. But they think that it's being led by these right-wing extremist groups, which leads me to believe that these jackasses have gone ahead. They are they are well-organized. So what they've done is they've established that there's these white right-wing, white-wing, I don't know, extremists out there. Oh, they're terrorists. And, and now they equate anybody who is pro-gun as almost an Emanera terrorist. And it's kind of sickening. The White House hasn't given up on David Shipman's nomination to lead the Bureau, according to two senior administration officials. I like to know who those are. It's probably, oh, I don't even know. <laughs> One source said the administration was still hoping Senate leaders would schedule a vote in order to put members on record. And I will tell you this, that there are so many areas in this country that are led by Democrats who also support the Second Amendment, untouched, as it was written. Not the whole BS that this guy, Chipman, wants to put on file. I mean, just the other day, he's talking about if you have a firearm, you're a new firearm owner, you should lock that thing away, unload it, and put it behind the beans. Because there's never going to be a zombie apocalypse. You don't ever need that. And that's their frame of mind. That's what they believe. Senate Majority Chuck Leader, Chuck Schumer, has long been leery about holding votes on matters that won't get support of all 50 of his members. And this is why I'm talking about it. You've got rural states out there where they're, they're led by Democrats, but these Democrats like to hunt. They like to shoot. And this is the thing that chaps my ass, is that these are the same people going, well, they're not going to try to take your guns. Yet Joe Biden's nominee is a guy who actually wants to take your guns. Uh, at issue are a handful of moderate members, in particular independent Senator Angus King of Maine and Democratic Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia, who have yet to commit to supporting the nomination. It's not just him. They're just calling those guys out. But there's a lot of other people who are not going to follow the party line. All these jackasses that live in the big city, they don't want guns. They don't need you to have guns. And they feel like the law-abiding citizen 
<laughs> is just a potential criminal. And essentially, all Republicans are expected to vote against Chipman, despite the nominee's previous efforts to get some moderate Republicans, including Lisa Murkowski, on board. Oh, I don't know. I don't think uh, Maine would really appreciate Lisa Markowski voting for David Chipman. The guy is such an extremist. And this is the whole thing. Joe Biden, I don't know that he's actually making any decisions based on his own efforts, but he's being told what to do. But I sure as shit know he was anti-gun to start with, and he's anti-gun now, and this is his flavor saver for the ATF. Absolutely nuts. King and Manchin signaled earlier this month that they hadn't been sold on Chipman's nomination. Ooh, no shit, right? Well, the guy worked for an anti-gun group. He has no moderation in there. The only thing that he knows is that he wants to get rid of these things and they should be banned. And he defines an assault weapon or firearm as anything that accepts a magazine. Okay, when asked, he'd back Chipman. Munchin said, Manchin, we're still working on it adding that they had a very candid conversation. He's not going to vote for him. He'd lose, he'd lose his seat right off the bat. Chipman would be the first Senate confirmed director since 2015. And I love the, the direction that CNN go ahead. See, you hear that? That's my, that's my email. Uh, <laughs> they won't leave me alone. Chipman is a former ATF employee. Having worked for the agency for 25 years, he was also a gun control advocate working as senior advisor for every town for gun safety, Giffords. And they go on like, oh, and Gifford got shot. We, we all know that. And NRA opposes Chipman's nomination. Yeah, but he's garnered the endorsement of several law enforcement groups. Who? They, they don't, they're complicating the vote for Democrats is that Chipman has faced a series of tough blows from hunting sportsmen association groups like Ducks Unlimited. Wow, they're going to go ahead and break out Ducks Unlimited. I, if you guys know of any law enforcement agencies who have actually backed this guy. I know there's a couple of them out there, but they're basically from the big cities and they're basically all leftists and they sure shit don't want you to have a firearm. This is the first time I've seen such a broad array of sporting groups, conservation groups like Ducks Unlimited come out in opposition to a nominee. That shows this divisive <laughs> that shows how divisive he is, said GOP Susan Collins of Maine. Collins was one of the GOP senators who decided against Chipman, good for her, and signed a stiffened Republican opposition. Resistance to Chipman appointment comes amid a rise in mass shootings. I don't want to, I'm not getting involved in the House approved two bills. Earlier this month, Chipman was taking part in private one on one meetings with reluctant senators to assure that he respects the Second Amendment. It's always, well, I respect the Second Amendment, but, there's always a but. <laughs> They're talking about, no one needs a magazine this big. Uh, Hillary Clinton was notorious for, like, every, every constitutional amendment, every bylaw is subject to reasonable legislation. Mm, real. A meeting with pro-gun groups in West Virginia and GOP Governor Jim Justice at Manchin's request was also on the books. Senate Judiciary Chairman Dick Durbin of Illinois, Majority Whip, told CNN on Monday that they were still working the nomination. Uh, and here at the end of it, they go on to say, David Chipman's 25 years of distinguished service. Hold on. Everybody loves this. David Chipman's 25 years of distinguished service as the ATF agent uniquely equips him to reinvigorate the Bureau's critical mission, including combating gun trafficking, keeping firearms out of the hands of criminals. Ladies and gentlemen, the, what a crock of shit. Confronting the epidemic gun violence head on is a cornerstone of the president's gun crime strategy, and he looks forward to the Senate quickly voting on Chipman's nomination as ATF director, spokesman Michael Gwynn. All right, let me just clue you in on something, ladies and gentlemen. They can do all that shit without him. But what he wants to do is go ahead and ban everything he possibly can. Because if it were up to him, if it were up to Joe Biden, you, ladies and gentlemen, would be equipped with a double-barrel shotgun. Right, Jill? Walk out there and blast two in the air. Absolute BS. Well, with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I am so excited and... The, the, there was my tension was so high as of late that I, I my neck locked up. I gotta start taking care of myself, taking a break. Y'all be good. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and head already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform. Twenty four seven for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. I'm KB32, and I am out of here. Y'all be good. Boom. Huh.
<laughs> Hold that thought. Here we go. <laughs> what that delayed rollback.